Welcome to Down the Wire. Today in Backpage News, we have an OnlyFans mom who's banned from dropping her kids off at school. Also, a government official is in hot water for doing pull-ups at the top of the Capitol Dome. Plus, a man escaped from jail after exposing himself in a drive through In today's episode, we're joined by Ottawa creatives Can't Go Broke and Nice Guy. Before getting into today's episode, I want to give a quick shout out to The Job and Duke Show. They're a couple of brothers that are in a comedy podcast down in the States, came across them. They're friends of the show, so they should be friends of yours as well. Give them a listen when you can. Without further ado, let's get into today's show. Welcome to the first episode of Black History Month. We brought the, well, it was actually supposed to be an episode of just Connor, but Black History Month. I figured Month. it was fitting. So no. we brought the whitest black guy we know. <laughs> so <funny>. Shout out. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Welcome to the show. Connor, first time CGB. Yes, sir. Jonah returning. returning. I don't know guest. how you got me back, bro. Are you good, bro? I'm chilling. I'm good. I definitely did get fed my piece. Um, whoa. What is... Whoa. What? What? Fed my piece. You got fed your piece. What does that mean? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't think I could do this. <laughs> You're good, bro. I don't know. I You're can't. good. I can't. <laughs> Stay, don't leave. We oh need- no, I'm here. What the okay, fuck? I'm, good. No, I'm sticking I thought it you out. were gonna bitch out. Of me. Out. What the fuck? Are you dumb? Because I only <laughs> Hey, we're gonna rewind like <laughs> <laughs> three minutes ago. We were like, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Mom, Keep there's it. girls at this party. Can you come pick me up? <laughs> I, that's cr- are you good? Are you good? I'm chilling, bro. Okay. You're good. <laughs> You sound like my friend that just threw up after drinking 18 beers. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'm good. Send the Uber home, bro. Yak all down his fucking shirt. Dude, you're not good. <laughs> you know <laughs> what? I usually admit that I'm not. Yeah. Can I say something? No. Unpopular opinion. I'm going to say it. Go. I like getting the spins. Like when you're drunk yeah. and you close your eyes and your brain and head starts, sp- the room starts spinning. Sometimes when I lie down in my bed, I like that. That's mm, sometimes that's when it's 50 50 for me. Sometimes in bed, it's sick. You feel like you're in a fucking another dimension. Mm. But sometimes you're just, it's the worst shit ever. And I would not fucking ever want to get in that position. Yeah. If it's a, if, like, if it's a good night, I'm a good drunk. I'm like, let me just ride this wave, bro. And yes. I'm just lying in there. The spins feels like I'm no, one of those fucking like. You guys are those kids that would close your eyes and go like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? You ever seen kids do that? Yeah. I would just that's what you guys are like. If you like the spins, if you like the spins, you're nuts. Yeah. yeah. The you fuck? Don't, you don't. So uncomfortable. It's like sometimes it's good. Not That's how all you can time. determine which of the kids was going to be drug addicts <laughs> when you're in like second grade, which is who is doing Ring Around the Rosie 15 times in, in recess. Yeah. yeah. And now who's, who's pressing, pressing, on, their, who's pressing on their it. eyelids? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pressing on their eyelids, looking at the colors. <laughs> Those yeah. kids, that could flip their eyelids oh, up too. Dude, oh, I hate shit. that shit, bro. I, I don't do good with that kind of stuff, man. What was your talent? I know you had like a talent as a kid. Like, you know, those kids that could do like the the clover with their tongue or like fucking flip their eyelids or they were double jointed. What fucking weird kid were you, Rocco? You know how weird I was, bro? I, I, tell me. I didn't have a talent. <laughs> but here's what I used to do. <laughs> I would... I had days... I think this is why my mom thought I was gay. I would have days like... Mon- Wait, the same mom that <laughs> drinks coffee and shits? Yes, okay, same cool. mom, yeah. It's I, just wanted to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, it's crazy. We, we posted that real interview stuff. I, just I only it. heard that she shits. I didn't know she drank uh, drank coffee, yeah. too. That's why That's she why shits. That's why she shits, yeah. Ooh. On a boat. Blew my mind. I didn't think woman in general. Yeah. Poop, Watch the but, fucking yeah. episode. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sorry, bro. We talked about it on Go to the episode, archive, yeah. The oh, yeah. My right. mom poops yeah, shits. Yeah, yeah. yeah did you know that it's your first time here? Not mine. It is. It is my first time. I'm very, I'm honored right now. Okay, let me tell you why I think my mom thought I was gay. Tell us why that was your special talent. <laughs> your mom thinking you were gay. <laughs> That's my special talent, getting people to think I'm gay. <laughs> but um, Mondays were blue day. So I would wear blue Converse, blue, like light Wait. blue pants and light and like blue shirt. Was this a you thing or like your this school? This was a me thing. That's autism. There's, There's no not, uniform. That's anything to do with your sexuality. Wednesdays was... Green day. How long did I this go on? I would wear green on? Converse, green pants, green shirt. Fridays, it's Friday, TGIF, right, boys? Red's my favorite color. I read it up. Red high top Converse, red jeans. From red the t-shirt. ages of what to what? This was just in grade eight. Oh, damn. Right before high school. Strictly so I went into high school with no friends. 13. Yeah. <laughs> I really fucked myself. <laughs> Why don't you continue this color tradition? 
I think he should. I think he should bring it back. Dude, he's hiding the fact that he's gay. I don't know, dude. I think it was because I got a uniform in high school, so I just stopped caring oh, shit. what I wore. Underrated, Loki. I had one, too. I had a uniform, yeah. too. I yeah. kind of liked it because I, like like, I didn't have to overthink shit. I like being told what to do. Get in line. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my teacher sucked, though. Some, like, we had, uh, we had like the little top marks like logo on mm. the side for our uniform, and I would like go and buy sick khaki colored pants yeah, yeah, yeah. sew the label on and everything and i would still get called out i for did it. the exact like, why same would shit, you, bro. why do you care that much as a teacher yeah it's I just think, crazy i think i would just do that because i wanted to stand out and like be the man but i never was the man i was trying to be the man <laughs> do you think anyone really noticed uh yeah <laughs> yes. like how many mondays in where is it yo he's fucking wearing blue he's again. wearing, yo, he's blue, fucking wearing blue i think i made a thing of it you know what i mean like I, I made sure everyone. that people knew <laughs> You know, they're like, oh, what's up with the blue fits? Like, it's Monday. You know what I mean? Like, I would make a thing out of it. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. If you're ever being chased by, like, a teacher or the cops or anything. He's in blue Converse. He's wearing jeans. He's in a blue shirt. Uh, I, I don't know what he's wearing. What day is it? What day is it? Wednesday. He's in green. Get him. They start throwing parlays down. Tomorrow's Friday. You think he's going to fucking wear red? Is he going to do it? The odds are no, like that's free money. <laughs> Insane, yeah. bro. Free money. It comes oh, with I, a bonus bet 365 I, account. It's a <laughs> super boost bet. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I just, I wanted to be the man, which is why I really appreciated the introduction I got when I showed up to your art event the other week. Of course. I felt like such a fucking baller, dude, because I get really anxious when I go to events. Wait, were you wearing red? It was no, Friday. It was you Friday. Fucking I know. I know. I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm back, in the, I'm back in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deep in there, bro. Right next to the red conference, oh. bro. I'm deep in there. <laughs> I get so anxious when I go to events, bro. And like, I was like, man, like I'm showing up alone. I hate showing up to places alone. And I always, I always map it in my head, like, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna walk in, I'm gonna see someone like, yo, Racco, what's good? And everyone's gonna see me, and I'm gonna be like, ah, this is sick. This is how I pictured it. Never works out that way. <laughs> that Friday, two weekends ago, I opened the door immediately. You, Jonah, Racco, into it. Racco. <laughs> <laughs> I start walking. We in started there. chanting. Yeah, I don't I even remember, remember doing chanting that. to him, and people yeah. look at me. They're like, "Who's they're that?" I was like, me. "It's fucking Rocco." I walked in, dude. I felt like such a boss. That's the one time my dream scenario of walking into a building actually worked out the way I you wanted. You know what? To. I think you're wrong. Girls were looking at me. Dude. My like, first, I don't, bro. My first Im impression, my first time meeting you, was at the Plus opening at Rito, and you pulled up with Yeezy boxes on your I feet. Did, yeah, he. This guy pulled up. He cut holes in the top of his Yeezy shoe boxes. And pulled up sliding across Rito in them. <laughs> and she did, went and introduced <laughs> himself to everyone. Just normal. Dudes are wearing fucking whole spider outfits and all this shit. Yeah, and he bro. pulled up in uh, Yeezy boxes. And I said, you got attention that time. I did. I did, bro. I wanted to make it a thing, man. Like, I wanted... I was like, hey, it's a shoe store opening. They sell, like, the craziest shoes. I wear fucking Vans. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the only pair of shoes. You outflexed everyone that night. And my boy had Yeezys. And I was like, can I use your boxes? <laughs> <laughs> I can, I you, can I borrow them? They come back <laughs> yeah, with fucking holes in them? <laughs> that's how I walked around, bro. And then, yeah, people took notice. I don't know what it is. I guess I like attention now that I we're getting so. into this podcast. <laughs> yeah. That was good. I didn't know that's where we met, though, dude. Yeah, that was the first time. Would you have I talked to me if I was just wearing my Vans? Fuck no. Yeah. Fuck no. That was the introduction. Eh? That's why. Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. I was like, yo, he's got fucking Yeezy boxes on his feet. And it's just so, f like, bro, who thinks of that? <laughs> who fucking thinks of doing that? And now you're on the podcast. There dude. you go. So yeah, the fact that you admitted <laughs> that you get anxious going to events, and mm -hmm. then you pulled up alone with Yeezy boxes on. I went that with my boy. Like, I went okay. with my boy to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you not come? I almost backed out, dude, because I looked in and I was like, there's boy. not that many people there. <laughs> yeah. Did you pull up to my event alone or did John come? He came later. later. Okay. Yeah. John yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, but I almost up, backed man. out of the Yeezy box thing. I had the boxes on my feet and my boy, whose Yeezy boxes they were, was filming me. He's like, hey, walk yeah. in. I was like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know, dude. He's like, you fucking cut holes in my easy boxes. You're doing this. You're fucking doing this. And I was like, all right, all right, bet, bet. I'll do it. Shut up, Feeks, man. <laughs> all right. Um, let's get into it, bro. Let's get into the back page news. You guys familiar with the back page news? Back page is in back page, back page. Is it <laughs> as in hookers? <laughs> no. Ladies. Can I bring them? <laughs> Did you imagine? <laughs> It's just Coleman in a fucking bra walks Yo, in a thong, dude. I'm ready. Where's it at? 
We're going to get into the back page news. Um, anyone listening doesn't know what the back page news is, first time listeners. Basically, we find the weirdest, most obscure, just flat out ridiculous and funny headlines circulating in the world. And we talk about them. Love it. And we dissect them. And we analyze them. And we do real reporting here. They did surgery on a grape. What's that? They did surgery on a grape. Why? Have they not been doing that shit oh. for years? <laughs> This guy brought his we own back page real news. reporting. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my headline. Yeah. React. Before we get into the news, we got a special. Why can't I say that, dude? It's Ipsis. It was Syllabants. 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 Celibate. Celibate. Um, not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy, Inc. <laughs> in some, in some yeah, dude, he pointed that out to me. He's like, no, I mean, he's incorporated. Yeah, yeah do, you know, incorporated. do you know about the nice guy like subreddit? No, it's like when guys don't get girls and they're like, I'm a nice guy. Like you should go for me. Uh, so that's like a nice guy. It's a whole like Reddit thing. Dude, and then it's it nice is like guy, an incel thing. Yeah, yeah nice guy dot INC was no. his choice of branding and he didn't know any of this. Bro, lean into it. Like, throw some ads in that subreddit. <laughs> Fuck it, bro. A shirt that says virgin, not by choice or some <laughs> shit? That would be a funny t-shirt, bro. It would. Yeah. I like, I'd buy it. That would be funny. I'd buy it. I'd buy it. <laughs> I'd buy my own shirt. Yeah. <laughs> the Canadian <laughs> government designates <laughs> incels as a terrorist group. Really? All right. Well. Is that the headline? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. Before we get into back I got news, so hyped up on that one. Before we get into the news, uh, we got a special message here from Red Bull. Basically, there's a new competition that I'm applying to be a part of because this is fucking awesome. It's a competition going on called Can You Make It? And here's what happens. If you win, they're sending three groups of three from Canada to Europe. And what you get, to, they send you out with cases of Red Bull. And that's your only currency. They t- you're not allowed to bring your phone, your that's wallet. That's crazy. And you use your Red Bulls to barter. You're bar- you, awful. <laughs> you barter your way up to the best prize. Some people ended up getting fucking uh, like Champions League tickets, bro. That's crazy. Like the way they worked up their Yeah, Red Bulls like I've shit. seen those, like the barter video. That's crazy. So sick, dude. I'm what gonna would apply. you trade for a Red Bull? A Red Bull? I think I would start with I like... I fucking half a Red Bull here. What are you going to give me? I would probably trade one Red Bull for two Red Bulls. And then I'll flip those two Red Bulls into four Red Bulls. I want this Larry Bird. And then I'll sell those four <laughs> Red Bulls for a million dollars. Sounds about right. Submissions end March 31st. Submit your videos in. We'll have a link in the description, all that. Yeah. You basically just have to make a video explaining why. You, you and three of the fellas or fellettes, and then yeah. they say why you're. It's you pronounced know. fillets. <laughs> <laughs> the McRib is back. It is back. It is Good back. contribution. Joe. It is. I'm going to try it for the first time ever on next week's episode. Damn. Yeah. What if they, like, the one day that you're going to film it, they're like, yo, we don't have any in stock. Every location in Ottawa is out. We go to Kingston. <laughs> that's the next. That's the next. What do you mean? Closest yeah. city. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the next closest city is Kingston. <laughs> have you ever had one? No, that's why I, like, I want to try okay. it. Okay. All right. Let's get into the news. Um, first headline reads, mom banned from dropping kids off at Christian school due to OnlyFans ad on her car. <laughs> So this OnlyFans mom can no longer drive her car onto the school property to drop her kids off because she has a massive OnlyFans ad with her at on the back windshield of her car. That's disgusting. Show me the link so I can never look at it ever. (laughs) That's just ridiculous. That's crazy. Send me the link so I'm sure my kids will never see it. Yeah, like I want to make sure that I know what this link is so I can block it off of every platform I have. You know, that's that's ridiculous. Her pulling up once, it's too late already. (laughs) It takes one kid to know that link. Bro, the priest is probably subscribed and he's embarrassed. And like it's too old for the priest, bro. The mom. Wow. Is that a bad or a good one? Oh my god! Is that a bad one or a good one? I don't know. Isn't this a compliment in the black community if someone leaves the room when a joke hits? <laughs> no, that's definitely it. No, actually, um, it was you, John, and I, and we were having a conversation, and 
Mm. I forget. John said something. We all separated. We separated, and then we came back into like our little conversation in different, in a different arrangement. Yeah, yeah. And then, Lance, and I was like, "Holy shit, that was a really I, black I, community thing." I just like you guys I, I know that there's some people that that joke went ray the fuck over their head. So I want them to go back and listen to that because that was so quick. You were so quick with that. Holy fuck. I'm impressed, dude. That was good. That was really good. Bro, and like I said, my brain's only going up 4% today. So. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. So here's what happened. She's been dro- dropping her kids off at school in this car that has her OnlyFans ad on it. And parents from the school are getting very upset about it because it's a private Catholic school. It's a very... I did my research. This school is like strict, strict. Like uniform, no facial hair for boys. Hair has to be a certain length. Like this is a strict Catholic private school. Bunch of moms complained. One of the moms took to TikTok on her TikTok oh, page to fucking rant about crucified. it. Her TikTok page, bro. Her TikTok page. We'll pull it up. Is uh, blowing up. In in her bio, it says hashtag black dad, <laughs> hashtag black husband, hashtag nine kids. You know she says the n word, and she's like, "I have black kids. It's okay." <laughs> bro, <laughs> That's so cr- hashtag black dad. Yeah, she she lets people know. She she's lets people proud. know. Yeah, proud of it. February. Proud. Yeah, yeah, she's just letting. Wait, the, wait. She, black dad is in her dad is black or her, oh, her husband. husband. Okay, her that's husband. what I yeah. thought. It's yeah, like a family account. She okay. posts about her kids doing stuff. Oh my and shit god, like bro. But um, uh, yeah, dude. So they the school told her, listen, parents are complaining. Either you take you have to take the decal off the back of your car, and she's like, no, I'm not taking it off. This is my livelihood. I'm not <laughs> doing that. Um, so they're like, all right, well, you have to drop your kids off across the street. And now they have to cross the road to get to school. And she's refusing to take it down. I don't think across the street ain't too bad, man. Yeah, I think it's more the principle of it. It's more what the fact mean? that like. She's like, I shouldn't have to drop my kids off across the street. I should be able to drop them off wherever I want, which is like, I believe. Yeah, I don't believe that. But it's, it's like. I think they're trying too hard to protect the kids, man. Well, in quotes, Pornhub is accessible. The uh, the mom that was offended that took to TikTok said, "This is a direct threat to my kids, saying that they're spewing pornography to students." Here's my thing: is like, there's no way that ad is making you that much money. There's no way it's bringing in that much business. That it's ad. a big decal, dude. It is big. Can you scroll up again? Let me see that. Like, yeah, that's a big decal on, like, a fucking dog. She also like, needs to show herself for the ad to work. Is that her? You know what I mean? And I, wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. look up that. I wouldn't don't look up that. Don't send me that link privately in our DM. <laughs> that's, don't do that. I'll be disgusted. Oh, bro. I just, everyone's talking about, like, how do the kids feel? The kids must be super embarrassed. They don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I wonder if they don't give a fuck or if they do. Personally, if it were me, I would. Oh, her, her kids. Bro, her I, kids. I, I don't know. I would, I think I would feel a way, to be honest. I feel like every no, we yeah. need to you need to get someone on the show that had a really hot mom growing up. Cause they dealt with the abuse of having a hot mom. Did you have a hot mom? Stop. <laughs> Did you have a hot mom? Do, is your mom hot? She can't be hot. She poops. It's not possible. So I, <laughs> how did how did you feel growing up with a hot mom? How would you feel if your mom had OnlyFans? If my mom had an OnlyFans, yeah, bro, I don't you care. Go to school, I don't right? care how much money she would be making. I'd rather eat alfagetti every night, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather dude, live I in would, a fucking apartment with a Murphy lie. bed. I don't give a fuck, bro. Because that's yeah, the that's... excuse that they all have is like, oh, like I'm, it's, I'm making money and like my kids can cry when they're in their Lamborghini. It's like, nah, dude. I'd rather like poor kids don't realize how good they have it. Like, yeah, ug- kids with ugly moms <laughs> have it crazy. so good, bro. <laughs> and your mom it's is more you than, have it so good in life you have no fucking idea you have no idea how good i feel like have. it would be like the, it's one thing to have your mom as like a sex worker or something like your personal one yeah but like, to have your mom as like a fucking advertisement as a sex worker when you're pulling up to school every day is that's like that's embar- that's another level of embarrassment so here's what i found out dude i did some digging Apparently, how much is her fee? How uh, much is her monthly fee? Fifty bucks. Oh, oh her fee. Yeah, I I'm think it's, fi- it's fifteen a month. I think. But oh. um, want to pitch? It's five bucks each. Apparently, month. the kids at the school—it's like all they talk about. 
It's the talk of the town in school. The TikTok mom posted on her TikTok saying that she asked her kids if the kids talk. And we're like, oh, yeah, like all the time. They kind of laughed it off. Apparently, a kid got expelled for looking up the mom's OnlyFans on a school device. Oh, well, that was his first mistake. You got to go private Spell, browser on your bro. phone, baby. How wait? How old are the kids? Like, is it like it's a private school? I think it's like grades. Like, is it an elementary school or high school? Or? I don't know how private schools work. To be honest with you, um, I think it's all grades. Cause like, it's a prep school, so I would imagine that's a high school. Cause usually prep means yeah, preparing for college. So uh, yeah, so it's probably like seven to, seven to twelve or nine to twelve. Yeah, something hopefully. like that. They should be able to look at a little bit of porn. Just a little <laughs> bit of porn. Well, she said she doesn't want... She says it's like infecting her boy, teenage boys' brains. And that's the first thing they see when they go to school. And it's distracting them. So like her she... Just, it's like... That's her yeah. fault. They look that shit up before they leave the That's house. her fault. Is she... She's blaming the students for bullying her kids for it? Wait, what? Are the students at the school bullying her kids? Probably. For, I don't know about that. So that's what she but they're talking about it for sure. I feel like she's giving so much more her attention. Her thing is like they she's on be, fucking Fox News. Her like th- she's <laughs> getting so much more attention. The mom that's upset about it, her whole thing is like you shouldn't be promoting pornography at a school. Granted, that makes sense. And mm-hmm. it's just like you shouldn't be like spreading that kind of shit. It's like like I don't know, like the mom of a student of my child's school shouldn't be teaching my kids about porn. You know, that's father Bob's job. Like leave that for him. <laughs> Jonas was nicer. Jonas, Jonas was way smoother. It's like father Bob. <laughs> father but, Bob. That, but that's her whole thing, which like, I, I, I understand, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm a big fan of like, you know, sex works, work, do your thing. Yeah. But I like time and place. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. I bro. think it's, it's embarrassing. Like, how did you feel having the hot mom? Yeah. Like what? How would you actually feel if you're like you wouldn't go to school? <sighs> Depends how bad it got, bro. I feel like I don't know. I feel like it's been out for a while, and I think it's been diluted because I feel like, let's be honest, if it's this big of a deal, would it even be that cool to have those moms only fans? Like the thrill's kind of gone. You know what I mean? Because sure. whenever there was the hot mom in high school, like you'd always be like, oh, like there's like that mystique. <laughs> behind it yeah. you know what i mean now that everyone has it it's like when weed became legal it's just too easily accessible you know what i mean like I now like the that. fucking now, now the anime kids are fucking stoners and fucking student <laughs> like the student council body is stoners too like it's not cool anymore you know so i wonder That's if they could just spread around too quickly that's not even cool you know imagine when shrooms are legal <laughs> yeah that's gonna be crazy i feel like kids are school like yo i got fucking michelle's only fans it's like yeah dude i was on that like Bro, weeks autism's ago. gonna be yeah. fucking cured <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <how>? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> if weed is is bringing oh, talking about weed, I thought you were talking about his mom's no. OnlyFans. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> Imagine when mushrooms are legal, like autism is going to be cured. You think, think it's the it. cure? Probably. Have you done a lot of mushrooms? I've microdosed a lot of mushrooms. It's probably made my autism worse. It's probably not the cure then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not the cure. I think it makes it worse. Actually, no, it's actually not way worse. So no, yeah, just not doing enough. So here's the thing, fellas. I reached out to her, the OnlyFans. Oh mom. no way! Wait, did you have to subscribe to reach out to her? No, I DM'd her on Instagram, and she nice. answered. She answered. No way. Here's what, here's what she had to say. <laughs> I'm so, so I'm so excited. <laughs> Introduce myself, whatever. Uh, As what? What? As what? Her biggest fan. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Seen all your work. Big fan. Um, I was like, hey, saw your story online. I'm confused. Is it legal to make? For them to make you drop your kids off across the street. And she said, yeah, unfortunately, LOL. And I was like, well, I guess it's a private property, so they can do whatever they want. I said, are any parents coming at you at all? She said, haha, I've gotten a lot of hate. People found my regular number and call me on restricted numbers. Gotten a lot of that. So people have found God her phone damn, number and are bro. giving her like, like that's so calling her, bro. Fucked. She, I was like, what are they like? What kind of shit are they saying to you? And she's like, Oh yeah, one person said we were pedophiles. Um, and my defense to that is what's the difference in my decal in a beer truck that advertises alcohol? They can't be held responsible for an alcoholic shrug emoji. This is a good point. I said you it's got, a pretty you got good me there, point. dude. She <laughs> kind of locked and loaded. Kind of got me there. Dude. She was ready for the <laughs> tough investigating from fucking down to the wire. <laughs> so I was like, honestly, I gotta ask, how much business have the decals like actually driven? And she said a lot. Four exclamation For marks. Sure. Nice. I don't know if I buy that, dude. For sure. I don't Bro, know. Oh man. I wanna I think it would if be you pull up the her buzz page, from the school. If you pull up her page and then you take her fucking likes or whatever, 
and then subs- divide it by the amount of her subscription. You can find out how many people are like actively paying to see this shit. Do you want to ask her? Kind of, yeah. We have her on the line. She has 105 no <laughs> Don't <laughs> lie to me right now. Okay. I was good. Do, Don't, you, do you want to talk to her? I want to talk to her real bad. We have her, we have her on hold. Don't lie to me. Right <laughs> do you want to talk to her? I didn't want to talk to her. That would be sick. All right. Throw those headphones on. No way. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. No way. No, you're completely joking. I said, can we call you? And she said, she, she actually asked, I'd, even, I'd call in if you want. And then she says, uh, 630. Are you going to ask her to talk to the black dad? Here's the, the thing. It's a different account. It's my a different mom. That's the other mom. My bad. Keep this in, is the hot mom. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna give this a little preface. Keep in mind, this is a human being. <laughs> okay. For sure. Let's be respectful. Of course. All right. It's oh, All right. down to the wire. <laughs> Wait, can I hear anything? We're clean. Yeah. If you guys want to share the headphones, the cops split. I can. Here, you can come and fucking cuddle me while we talk to this milf. <laughs> All right. That's not gonna do it, guys. <laughs> Jonah, can you hear? A yeah, little bit yeah of the I hear a little buzz. <laughs> oh, just flip it out. You know what I mean? Like, just flipped up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold up. This is gonna take a second, fellas. I'm so scared. Why have you never talked to a milf that's on Fox News for dropping off kids at the school illegally? No. Me neither. <laughs> I'm ready though. This is sick. This is not what I anticipated for happening tonight. You guys. Hello? That's Coleman. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, it's because... Are your headphones connected? They are. Okay. <sighs> do, do, do. How's your day, man? Good, bro. It's going good. This is uh, the highlight for sure. If she this doesn't answer, sick. I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, dude. Oh, she told me she's having company over tonight. And she's still taking the time out of her She day said to she was going to sneak off into the basement and take the call. That was it. Like, she said she agreed to 6.30. What's though. her name? It's your guys' fault, eh? Showing up late. Fuck. Because we had this timed up perfectly. Fuck. Yeah. What's her name? Uh, Her Instagram. Her, her name's Michelle. Michelle. But her Instagram name is uh, Piper Fawn 20. Piper Fawn. Yeah. I'm going to go with Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're having a little tr- uh, technical difficulties getting I'm Michelle so on the I'm so pissed, dog. Why? Here, I'll let her know. Hey, tried calling. Let me know. Just send me her number. When you're <laughs> available. I'm like locked in, so... We can keep going, and then the second she DMs you, dog. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Oh, we'll make All it happen. Right. I'll Dang. put the headphones back and add the essence of surprise again. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> you just got a rush, eh, dude? Was, yeah, nothing <laughs> happened, and I'm like, holy fuck. His heart is <laughs> And he's already fucking He is rock hard right, right now. Like, <laughs> holy Jordan fuck. He is rock hard, dude. <laughs> hey. No, I'm not. <laughs> Who needs cocaine, bro? <laughs> like, <laughs> just randomly call OnlyFans. We models. just need Red Bull and only <laughs> fucking fans, bro. That's Get so those funny. as your two main sponsors of the show, and you're fucking, you're good. Oh, dude. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll circle back to the story, though. Absolutely. Please. Um, please, for the love of God, let's circle back. A couple of facts I do want to get out of the way, though, before we get uh, onto the next story. It is Black History Month, yes. <laughs> we know. That is why Jonah is here, yes. <laughs> Bro, do you know what I saw as a fucking headline at the gym the other day? It was February 1st, and they were like... Yeah. They were like, it's heart month in February. Holy shit. This guy's mad, bro. How often does this happen? Quarterly. <laughs> yeah. That was a bus. It was a bus? The bus was mad at the uh, Uber fucking Uber, Uber driver Uber parked driver. on the... Yeah, 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 classic, classic. Come on, fucking Uber driver. They're trying to together. do thing. Happy hey, sorry, Heart yeah. Month is crazy, by yeah, the way. Yeah, right, right? It's Black History Month. Let's give a whole month to the one day. I was day. actually a little bit pissed. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but what's better marketing? Black History Month or Valentine's Day? Marketing. Valentine's Day probably sells more. Way more. 100%. Yeah. Way more. What can you sell for Black History Month? If you're um, 
I'm, I, I can't, this is a bad I can't question. Answer on, this one. Dude, you're putting, <laughs> you're putting on, me man. on the spot. I'm going to be like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this episode might get Jonah canceled. <laughs> Jonah is like my services. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh my Moving God. on. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy fuck. Let's move on to the next story. If she calls us back, she calls us back. Oh yeah, um, she will. Michelle. Worst case for the viewers out there, listeners, we will get her on the horn for next episode. If it doesn't happen oh, this episode, oh, we'll get I'll her get on her on the horn. All right. But I'm hoping it happens because we built up the hype already. Oh man. You know what I mean? You got Jonah bricked up <laughs> yeah. at that. So I really hope oh. it happens too because. Oh no! All right, <laughs> he is flustered right now. No, I no, I'm just recovering from the the services comment. That was really funny. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right, next highlight we got here reads: GOP congressman admits to doing pull-ups atop a Capitol dome and insists there is nothing unsafe about it. So, uh, Republican Rep. Richard McCormick was with his staff walking through the Capitol and he saw the inside of the dome, which is 200 feet up in the sky. And he was like, I'm gonna do some pull-ups on that. So he climbed up to all like the metal, like fucking, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? Structures. Like the scaffolding or whatever, like inside? Not scaffolding, like the fucking pi like, uh, pipes and yeah. iron. You know what I mean? It's like when you're watching uh, like, like an action movie and they're like fighting on like, you know what I mean? On, Catwalk. Yeah, you know, Catwalk, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he climbed up that thing and just did pull ups in front of all of his staffers. How old is he? Ah, oh, I don't know. Is he, he is. an old man or is it? A no, he looks person? good, bro. Yeah, I want to know how many he got. He said he got five more than Teddy Re Roosevelt. How many did Teddy Roosevelt got? That's what I wanted to know. I didn't know he that was. <laughs> He's 55. Okay, but how many did Teddy Roosevelt get? I, I don't know. I, I did. I tried to look it up. Bro. Nothing? All, the only comedy he has is I got five more than Teddy Roosevelt. I think he was just making a joke. Teddy Roosevelt probably got zero, so he only got five. Yeah, five is a good guess. But dude, two hundred feet up in the fucking sky, bro, doing pull ups in front of all. Is of there your video staffers? of this shit? Dude, I cannot. The staffers pulled out their phones and took photos and videos. Not a single one is on the internet. They definitely That's shit crazy. on yeah, them. They, fucking they definitely they're shut all that fired down. Yeah, quick, for sure. Bro. Shut sure. it down, bro. But, but no. they let the fucking Capitol riots happen. <laughs> but then they're like, no, we can't take the video of this guy fucking two hundred feet in the air. Well, That's like crazy. there was a tour happening at the same time and people from the tour saw it happening <laughs> and they made the complaint. What a sick day. And that it's, would be. it's a rule that you're not allowed to stop a member of government doing whatever they're doing in a government <laughs> building, but you can make a complaint about it after. So they couldn't stop it as it was happening. How the fuck are you going to stop him? He's 200 feet <laughs> yeah. in the air. But you can complain about it after the fact. So what's is he getting? Is he in hot water right now? That is undecided yet. He's getting pressed in the media about it, but he's just like his stance on it. This quote, uh, yeah, he says he did some pull ups on some metal structure. He says there's nothing unsafe. They videoed me doing pull ups, but it's not. It's not unsafe. Like I said, it's uh, it wasn't dangling over, you know, whatever. But you know, like like I said, this is a direct quote. I know. I figured this was <laughs> verbatim just by the, you know. <laughs> But, you know, like like I said, it's uh, I'm a Marine. I know safety. I'm an ER doc. <laughs> I know safety. It was it was nothing that, you know, that the article is is brilliant in the way they like to frame it. But that's it. And then they're like, well, do you not deny that you could have fallen? He's like, I could fall right now during this interview as like the person's interviewing that's him was standing, like walking up. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hilarious. I think it's tumbled. more the fact that like imagine you're on a tour in a fucking marine falls 200 feet on top Dude, of you that's my thing bro is like <laughs> why are you complaining when you're touring a government building you know how bro, that boring that the tour is sickest day of the fucking government tour imagine ever. like a school trip and you're bored out of your fucking mind it's like oh this is where bills yeah! get passed and this is where nancy pelosi hid when the capitol yeah. riot happened and oh what the fuck this guy's yeah. doing pull-ups 200 feet in the sky i'd be i'd be juiced. cheering him on bro. canadian yeah. version you see pierre polyev doing fucking push-ups in the middle of parliament no it's just pierre polyev eating an apple will tell you off a liberal that's just what, that's all it is that's it's pierre it polyev saying the n-word in the house of commons <laughs> shout out our deep yeah, our deep, deep. our deep sing niger <laughs> yeah shout out to the boy shout out RD. r.i.p man r.i.p um, legend legend 
Gone so too soon. here's the thing, dude. This guy, he's a former Marine, was also on American Gladiator. And Let he is and he is caught pull-ups. according to CN, he is caught frequently skateboarding in Congress halls. That's super sick. Bro, this is the fucking sickest politician ever. This is the coolest guy ever. Let I want him, this bro, guy to this be is my dad. Fifty five year old Bart Simpson. Let him do what he wants. <laughs> this is the coolest guy ever, dude. I would low-key kind of hate though if he was like my stepdad. Yeah, because he's cooler than you. Yeah, and you're not supposed to yeah. like your stepdad, but like you're really trying not to like this guy, but he ends up being yeah. way cooler than Wait. your real dad. And you're like, fuck, I actually really like this guy. Oh, remind that's a me, sick picture. Remind me of what American Gladiator is. Because it's an I, old show from the 90s where just deezed men and women would just take on opponents. And one episode was against Marines, which is the episode okay. he was on. Oh, and shit. they just do these crazy challenges. We have a video of it. We can pull it up. Yeah, I want to see him beat the shit out of someone, please. Uh, is he Richard McCormick? Yeah, turn the volume okay. down. Dick. It's good old <laughs> turn the Dick, down. This Dick guy, Mick. This guy asked if it's Richard McCormick. Yeah, that's Look him. at the other guy. <laughs> it's a black yeah, guy. So? <laughs> so? No, he scrolled past the picture of him, man. So? It's Black History Month. I had to fucking ask. Okay, wait. Didn't they recreate this show, too? I think it's just now American yeah. Ninja Warrior. They no, have- see, that's what I was... They've had this shit American since like Ninja in the 2000s. Warrior is like a like a like a course. Yeah, these are like challenges, like obstacles. Yeah, There's still obstacles. So they got to climb up this thing, bro, and touch the top of it. He's on the blue team. There he is, running up. He's flanking around the side. He's gonna get to the top. Oh, he's nice. It's basically and then he gets stopped. Dude, a look, real life version of Fall Guys. Look at what happens to guys. this fucking guy. Bro, I used to play this shit in Ready? elementary school. <laughs> get. Fucked. <laughs> oh, it's dummy, bro. <laughs> That's sick. Do you oh. ever have that mentality when you watch shit like this and you're like, I could fucking, I oh, get to the top 100%, of that shit. dude. I could do that backwards. Like bro. the big balls on uh, Wipeout. Wipeout, yeah, Wipeout. Dude. baby food. I think everyone thinks they can beat Wipeout. Baby food. And oh, I, totally, dude. I want to fucking do it. I can't believe they got rid of that show. Did they get rid of it? Yeah, it's just shit. A I love someone this last died, shot. dog. Just dudes being dudes here. Yeah. Yeah. Please put it. this picture in fucking this is just the, Pride Awareness Month. Honestly, I'm a fan of this dude, bro. I think he's the coolest guy ever. I think we need more just cool guys. Hell yeah, bro. Show, dude. Pissed that they're giving him flack for it. Like Dude, the fact that this guy just casually on a daily basis rides his skateboard through government buildings. Yeah. It's more the fact he can fucking kill anyone. So why are they talking shit to him? He's gonna fucking get He them. just sounds like a super chill dude for like fucking He'll know? just happen to snap your neck yeah. like a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also mega chill, bro. Yeah. You know? Is this him? So this is him doing pull-ups. Oh, not dude. on the, in the Capitol Dome, but just him doing pull-ups in oh, general. Oh, bro. If he's do, that's what? He's doing five, five pull-ups. six. Clap pull-ups is crazy. Seven. Eight, nine, nine. nine. Yeah. Okay, bro. He definitely got like fucking 30 pull-ups, bro. Pull up the photo of him on the skateboard. How often Look do you think Look at this guy. Yeah. Talk about a fucking radical conservative, eh? How often do you think he does the pull-up thing? Like, it wasn't his first time, right? It was probably the first complaint that he got. Oh, maybe. I just think that's such, like, a display of, uh, like, dominance to your staff. Like, you're just walking through with your staff. Right. And like, hey, watch this. And then you see your boss doing that. And you're like, I am never sending an email late. Yeah, yet. imagine you're... <laughs> that has nothing to do with the job description. But somehow that means that you are better than me. Your I'd boss more... is an ex-Marine that rides a skateboard and does yeah. pull-ups on the daily... I would fucking never talk back to him ever. Yeah, I'd be more comfortable sending an email late. What are you talking about? Yeah, until he oh, breaks he's the a skateboard chill dude. over yeah, he's your a chill head. Dude. Yeah, he's a chill dude. Yeah, More just don't time, fuck bro. with him. You know what I mean? Imagine dating this guy's daughter. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, Jonah can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, son. Imagine dating this guy's son. Like... <laughs> He wouldn't allow that. He's a Republican from Georgia. I don't care. Not allowed. I don't care what the relation is. If I have to shake this man's hand, bro, my fucking bones would be crumbled. Yeah, bro, he's not fucking Bruce Banner. But or I feel like I would be nervous. And then you ever go in for a handshake and they they squeeze your hand a little bit too quickly and they get you with this. They and now oh, they, they crunch you. Yes. Yeah. Now yeah. you are a forever a bitch in their eyes. Forever. Whenever I mess up a handshake and I, they just get my fingers and they crunch my fingers, I'm like, you actually own me now. And I pull out a fucking no, for collar sure. and leash. Put that shit on. My services are, belong to you. <laughs> <laughs> 
that dude just owns me until the next handshake and then i fuck it up again because no i have to i have to buckle their knees <laughs> next time where's michelle <laughs> nice to see michelle, michelle. You punch where her is in the michelle? stomach i yeah. want michelle literally nothing from michelle yet that's really devastating the michelle thing yeah yeah real. but hey dude we got rich mccormick just as cool dude just Does as cool as an only fans? mom ah uh, I wish. Because Jonah probably would fucking go crazy. <laughs> it's a cool dude, bro. I like this I guy. I would subscribe. I was thinking like uh, like this whole stepdad thing. Because I've kind of like, uh, I've thought about that. You know what I mean? If your stepdad's really fucking cool and you're, you're trying to not like him, but he's just the coolest guy ever. And then you end up forming yeah. a friendship. With that guy, it's just a funny like dynamic, I think. It sounds like such your classic like 80s like comedy movie or like sitcom yeah. plot line. You know no, what I mean? Is. Like <laughs> you guys butt heads at the start, but by the end of it, you're boys. And Daddy's you're like, home. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is literally- oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. It is a fucking movie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it is a movie. There's a second one too. There's two fucking It movies. was a hit. They had to make a sequel. <laughs> oh, so I could John just imagine Cena. like calling your mom just like, Hey mom. So yeah, I don't know. I'm good. I'm good. Is, uh, is Rich there? Just like, <laughs> I want to talk to Rich. I'm yeah. not going to call him dad. <laughs> Even if there's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Going to like take your kid to work day, you go with Rich, not your real dad. <laughs> oh, that's tough, bro. Dude, your dad tries to show you how to like tie a tie for the first time. You're like, oh no, Rich already showed me how to do that with one hand. So hard. Well, oh, that's jumping. such a gut punch to <laughs> Dude, the fucking imagine? real dad, bro. I would have another kid. I, think I, would, I would start would over. Have to, if that yeah. happened to me, I would have another kid and just start over. Oh my God. Forget bro. about that kid. Whatever. That's worse than being cheated on by your wife, I think. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. <laughs> Easily. Hundred percent. I jo- see your logic there. Jonah, the uh, I have to expose you right now. Why? The other day. Uh oh. The other day we're at Jonah's mom's crib doing a video. <laughs> what and kind he, of video? Yeah. I'm not gonna we're, we're with Michelle, you know. You gotta hey! <laughs> oh <laughs> hey. <laughs> we're doing a, a video for his uh his short film for Nice Guy. Still and, uh, sounds like a porno, but I like it. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It was an incel, incel video. could never find a woman of his dreams. <laughs> he, he took to his mom's basement. Uh, <laughs> it was her living room. Uh, he introduces his mom, and then his mom's boyfriend comes in, and he's like, yeah, this is uh, Walter. He lives here as well. Not as his mom's boyfriend. I but can't believe I said that. As I don't he remember lives that. here as well. I don't remember that. Bro. That's weirder, bro. Because if I'm a guest and it's like you say, this is Walter, he lives here as well. I'm like, oh, like, is he like with your mom? No. <laughs> is this know, like your mom's like, boyfriend? No, no it's Walter. He lives no here. No one figured to ask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a weird guy. No. That lives that's weird, bro. No, because the, uh, he was telling me afterwards, he's like, bro, you introduced Walter as the other guy that lives here. You're like, yeah, he I, lives I, here I didn't as well remember verbatim. doing that. That is so rude and of Sarah me. And Sara said the same shit. She was like, that's verbatim what Apologize. you said. Apologize. No, right now, Walter. I'm sorry. Look, look into that camera. I did look into it. <laughs> Walter, Bro, feel it. Feel it. <laughs> no, Walter, no. I apologize on behalf of Jonah. Uh, yeah, bro. That's Thank you. Rude as fuck. Thank you for letting us into your that's home. Could you imagine though if he wasn't with your mom? It's just Walter, I just the, made the guy that lives here. It's like a two and a half really men reason. type situation. Like, yeah, yeah just, he just lives here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which one would he be out of the three? Uh, the Jonah's got Allen energy for sure. Alan, I don't even, dude, I don't even remember that show, barely. You don't fucking Charlie Sheen? I know Charlie Sheen. Tiger What's blood? he like? Huh? What's he like? Oh, he's cool. Yeah. He's a cool guy. Definitely not like skateboard through government buildings. <laughs> he's cool, definitely but... no Richard McCormick. Do you think he could do five more than Teddy Roosevelt? Charlie Sheen? Yeah. That guy's just dying to stay alive. That guy, <laughs> that guy needs help. I haven't help. heard of him in a long time. That guy probably time. needs help to fucking We piss, might make bro. him trend from this fucking <laughs> video. I haven't heard the name Charlie Sheen in a long time. Uh, but uh, yeah, any more thoughts before we get into the next story on Rich McCormick? This guy. Uh, let him fucking do what he the wants. The coolest guy in politics. Let him skateboard. Let him fucking do pull-ups. Let him go to OnlyFans. It's all good. I don't think they have an issue with the skateboarding. It's just the pull-ups thing. No, like... I understand why people would be like, holy shit. Like, You're careful. 200 feet in the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smushes in front of you if he falls. Bro. But That's- at the same time, it would just be like, ah, uh, it's rich. It's... It's... It's how he would have wanted to go. Yeah, well, that's rich. He that's died doing what he loved. To go. Yeah, fine. they don't clean him up on the floor. <laughs> it's like he's eternally in the building. 
<laughs> that was a bad one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. PTSD. That's, I always wondered that, you know, like people that are extreme. I was going to say extremists, but that could mean something else. But people, <laughs> people that are like sports extremists, you know, that like they do extreme sports, like stuff like that. Like if someone died in like a fucking, what's that sport called where you fly? Wing suiting. Wind suiting. Wing suiting. Wing suiting. That shit is so insane yeah. to me. Dude. Like if you died in that incident, but you're just a really extreme dude and they're just like, oh, he died doing what he loved. It's like, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't love it anymore. You know, like if he was I still fucking alive. fucking hate it. Yeah. Unless you're just that down to a clown and you just fucking, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's still like fucking frozen bodies on the top of Mount Everest and shit. That's fucked. Yeah. They'll That's never fucked. like. I was on Hinge the, the other day, bro. And this girl's prompt <laughs> hard was, transition. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. This girl <laughs> this girl's prompt was a life goal of mine is to climb Mount Everest. That is I I just teach their own, bro. I just couldn't do that. Guess her ethnicity, bro. Just skin color, guess it. White. Yeah. That was a miracle. That bit. is white people activities, bro. It is. You yeah. Know? I um, saw a girl's hinge goal was to be a businesswoman. And it made me really fucking mad because why didn't you just do it? You should, just have, been so, you should have been so douchey, bro. I'd match with them and be like, hey, your goal should be to be a business person. <laughs> be inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Black <laughs> History Month. <laughs> <laughs> you could have actually pressed her being like, well, what's your business idea? Well, yeah. What's your mm. fucking plan for this? Well, bro, how do you how's thing? your I? How's your? It's soaps, dude. It's always soaps. <laughs> <laughs> the Kim Kardashian Crazy. like body shape soap or candles. Yeah. So speaking of that, Jonah and I have a candle line coming soon. <laughs> we actually do. Yeah, what's it called? We don't know we don't yet. Know. We don't know yet. Every good name that we Fuck come up with. you guys. So I was going to get into the candle business. Join along, buddy. I've already done it. Okay, let's do it together. I, I already have the formula. No, Racco just likes getting wax poured on him. That's all. Well, that's how I found out that I wanted <laughs> that's to. That's how you it. found yeah. out. I was like, I really like doing this. There's got to be a way for me to make money off of it, you know? <laughs> and I didn't want to do the OnlyFans thing, so. That's what Piper Fawn said, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all used wax that we sell for the candles. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> Did you see? It's fucking environmentally friendly, bro. You've you've watched Saltburn by now, obviously. What's that? Saltburn. No, I heard it's fucked up, bro. I don't like bro. fucked up shit. We no, should watch it right now. <laughs> A live reaction right now. <laughs> like Saltburn. Saltburn in ten minutes. This the edited cut. No, I no, can go show watch you three it. scenes. That's all you need. Just to just to know like the fucked up parts. Can I tell you the three scenes? I think. I think Jonah so did already. He yet. drank. No, there's no way. A I guy drinks bath water. I heard he about that. He fucks a grave and puts period blood all that. over his face. Okay, so now they're uh, the company that made the film is selling candles. That's Jacob Elordi's bath water. Come on. I swear. Pull it up. Do you Pull know what's <laughs> really weird, though? <laughs> My first up. thought was like, what does that smell like? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to think of what they actually made it smell like. Jacob Elordi bathwater candle. What? Yeah. There's like different companies that are selling it. That can't be right. It's fake, bro. They're going to run out of bathwater. They just make this guy take baths every day. There's no way it's his it's bath in his water. contract. There's no way. You got to be a dirty boy and take a bath every night. Make it dirty. Rolling bro, some dirt. The Fuck most, a grave every the, night and then take a bath The after. most fucked up part about the movie is the main guy that plays like uh, Oliver or whatever, like was fucking coming up with ideas while shooting. Like he wasn't supposed to fuck a grave. He decided yeah, to fuck improv. a grave. And that you know what's even crazier improv. about this movie? Fucking Margot Robbie wrote and fucking helped produce this shit. Margot Robbie. Is it a good movie? It, yes or no? It is good. It's just okay. very fucked up. If it wasn't a good movie. All of these people would be arrested. Yeah, for sure. But would you buy Margot Robbie's bathwater? Would I? <laughs> Buddy, bring out some good. I got a guy. <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> Everyone check under your chairs. <laughs> you get some bathwater candle. You get a bathwater candle. You. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah. Um, I would yeah, love if they weren't famous. This would be a fucking... That is a crazy thing. Crazy. What does it say? I was like, thank God it's mine. Told about the... I was very proud. I was very proud to have him guzzling it like that. That's... <laughs> that's a quote. Guzzling is a crazy <laughs> fucking word. There's no way. Word. That's a real quote. Whoa, what is the context of this quote? I don't understand. I... <laughs> it's, about, it's about Jacob Elordi saying that 
he's he, honored to have his bathwater yes, drink. Yes, he's glad that it was Barry that it, that was slurping his shit up. Oh, people are drinking it. In no, the that's the, that's what in the, the movie. Scene. Oh, in the movie. So the guy is fucking whacking it in the bathtub. Dude creeps up. By on the him, way, doesn't it. work. No, it's not enough lubrication. No. Anyway, so water's it, the worst lube. It doesn't Everyone work. Knows that. We don't talk about that enough. No, how yeah. water the most oh wet shower sex terrible worst dude. awful. You start so anyway, using fucking conditioner as lube and then you start burning and shit. It's fucking brutal. He he's whacking it in the tub. What a natural douche, you know. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> That was so bad. It was good. I like. I liked that one. He's jerking off in the bathtub, and then the guy creeps up on him and watches him. And then he, dude, gets out of the bathtub, goes about his business. The guy slurps up. Yo, what the fuck, bro? Yes. And people, this is a good movie. It wasn't good in the traditional sense, like. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't like I wouldn't compare it to like the Joker or like Pursuit of Happiness, no, you know, no, but no, it was no. like it's a good movie. I'm gonna watch this movie just so that I can form an opinion on it. Do it. And if the opinion is this movie sucks, I'm not taking anything you ever say seriously. Again. Like please. That is the sole know. reason I'm, of me watching this movie. Jonah, Jonah actually like I walked into it, like you know three more things about this movie than I did. I went into it completely blind. Jonah was like don't watch it. Don't fucking watch this shit no matter what. And I stupidly watched it. You know it's, when your friends would send you the meat spin link? No. Oh. Yeah. It was like that. Meat spin? Meat you were that friend, Jonah. Shut the fuck meat up. Meat spin? I don't know what spin. a meat spin Ugh. is. <laughs> oh, my God. No, 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 no. Do not. Meat spin. Don't, don't call me, bro. Don't pull it up. Don't pull it up. Don't pull enter, it up. Enter, 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 enter. Do not press that enter. Press enter. Press enter. Not I need press to know. Enter. I want to know. Do not do it. Please press enter. Do not do it. Please press enter. Send him the link. No, please. I don't want I want the link. Do not do it. Please, please press enter. Do not do it. Oh, you guys are losing your Red Bull sponsorship now. You can look away. Do not do it. Oh, there's no Java. We Press X. Press X. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the Down to the Wire podcast got canceled. I want you guys to know that my search history for the past twenty minutes is Jacob Alordi <laughs> bathwater <laughs> candle and meatspin.com. And fucking Dude, uh, that Michelle's was a only crazy fan. Richard, thing. Richard, whatever skateboarding yeah. pull ups. You're gonna have the fucking oh. FBI on your fucking watch list. Ah. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. Speaking of meat spin, next headline reads. Wait, speaking of meat spin, where's Michelle? Nothing yet. <gasps> Nothing yet. It's speaking coming down spin. to the wire. Michelle, 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 Michelle. We need you. <laughs> uh, we need you. Next headline we got here reads. Australian man escapes jail for exposing his penis at Hungry Jack's after Super Viagra orgy. There's a lot to unpack. How here. super? Was Hold the on. Is hungry, What's Hungry Jack? Is that like a? It's a fast food chain in Australia. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Give me like a comparable. A Maybe Western like Burger King. comparable. Okay. You know. Oh, I don't know. I've cool. never had it, but the logo looks like Burger King. You've never, see, you've never had Hungry Jacks oh, or oh, it super looks exactly Viagra like Burger King. It's definitely Burger King, and that makes it even oh. worse because it's fucking horse it, chicken. It literally, nuts. Burger King. <laughs> Burger King trades as hungry, hungry Jacks in Australia. Oh, it is. It's just okay, Burger, it's Burger King. King. Okay, I just want to know: was the orgy super or was the Viagra super? The Viagra. So how much Viagra did he take? It was it a, wasn't Viagra. It's another uh, erectile dysfunction Cialis. pill that's illegal that this guy got a hold what of. What was it called? Whoa. What was it called so I can avoid it? <laughs> as well as the <laughs> OnlyFans link. It is called Oh, I lost the link. Here, I'll put I'll bring it up. Oh, my mom can't. It's called Pitbull Super. Oh, lasts for days. Bro, that's one that's like a fucking gas station pill. It lasts for days, bro. Who is the target audience? Who, where was the demand for this? Bro, there's a fucking pit bull on it. Definitely pit bulls. Stay wild. <laughs> In the glasses. Bro, yeah. Um, <laughs> the gas, logo kills me, bro. Gas stations sell <laughs> the these. They sell, like, there's like the me. black rhino pill and all this. Yeah. I don't think they work really. Like, I don't know. I've never tried it. I know they don't work. <laughs> From experience. <laughs> this one works. So, For days, though? Unfortunately. Well, Wait, at the top, Wait. I don't know. 62,000 milligrams of anything seems like a lethal how, dose. How bro. much is the bottle of 12 doses? Let me know. Oh, it's like $200. No. Uh, yeah, $215. That's Canadian? on a discount, too. I don't know. Probably yeah. American. Hang Fuck. on a second. We're going to get into this. Do they take Zezel? We're going to... <laughs> 
Is that the fucking pay plan? Yeah. yeah. Do they take pay break? We're, we're gonna get into the this dick pill and it's uh the ethics behind. Tell it. me you have the guy that but, fucked that hungry jacks on the phone. Is talk he to on him? the line? You want to talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. It's crazy because hey, he Jack. said the same thing. <laughs> It, we have Jack. No, dude. Not the guy that fuck. We have the owner of Hungry Jacks. <laughs> yeah. Let's get his take on this situation. So this Australian man, um, he went to jail. Crocky. Because he had a visible erection while going through a drive through at a Hungry Jacks after he was done going through uh, experiencing a super orgy. How visible is your erection that they see it through the drive through It was so sensitive. How sensitive was it, Rocco? He couldn't put on shorts. So he was naked and he put a blanket over top of it when he was going through <laughs> the drive through And then the blanket accidentally, like a wind came through Bro, and blew you gotta... it over. And a 16-year-old worker was exposed to this guy's hard, pit bulled up ween, bro. This is why Uber Eats exists. That's what the judge said. <laughs> the judge literally said, you probably should have just ordered Uber Eats. And the judge did acknowledge that it Probably. was an accident. In yeah. my opinion. Yeah. So just to be clear, because it does sound like we're making fun of something really fucked. The judge agreed it was an accident. Yeah. Um, and sentenced him to something in Australia that's like straight to parole. Basically. For six months. For six months. Bro, so he, didn't, he avoided just... jail time. But the judge did say, just order Uber Eats, bro. Bro, tuck yeah, it in your fair. waistband like everyone else. After his super orgy. It says here in quotes, after enjoying his time with a number of young ladies. 51-year-old Richardson reportedly remained rigid, and when his penis began to split, started to panic. Split? I don't know what that means. Bro, if my dick split, I'd be doing way more than losing my mind. Split? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be going to Hungry Jack's. What the fuck? It was growing out of its own skin? Like my a banana dick peeled. is splitting. I need a medium It was really fry. like a banana being peeled. <laughs> like a hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> no, like a banana <laughs> being peeled. That's what dick split means to me. You've heard of the banana split. <laughs> you seen, now like, the dick split, folks. Scary movie three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is pinned against the car. She's cut in half. So it says Richardson's genitals were too sensitive to wear shorts, so he draped a towel over the affected area and went through the drive through of a Hungry Jacks, <laughs> the home of the Whopper, <laughs> threw in there. Uh, NT News reported. You mean oh, wow. home of the Whopper? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, his erection was witnessed by a 16-year-old worker who was redu reduced to tears by the experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, I'm sorry. It's Not just even the fact that you're laughing, the situation. type of laugh that came out of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a crazy thing. What it the is crazy. fuck? It is crazy. You make a teenager cry because they saw your dick? That would be fucking It traumatic. was ruled by the judge, though, as an accident. Yeah. I, I want to know how exactly. he ruled it as an accident. Because, like, was he wearing a shirt? Basically, the idea was... Or was he Winnie the Poohing it? The idea... I think he was Winnie the Poohing it, number okay. one. But he had a towel over it. But he basically said it was so sensitive that I couldn't put any, like, like pants on or, or he could tuck like the that. towel, though. There's no way a gust of wind is His blowing His dick print was just, you know, too too strong. I don't... Yeah. Did he see... Did she see the real... Or he, the worker, did they see the real... Well, you guys said the towel flesh? flew I feel off, like right? seeing a penis splitting would yeah. fuck up my day. That would fuck me up more than seeing a penis. Is oh, a penis thousand percent. Yeah. I've got it would to fuck get me the... up more than seeing a penis every day for the rest of my life. I mean, you do see a penis every day anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your own? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You yeah. sick fucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so that, that too. Yeah. Imagine Only you on look down Fridays. and see your dick splitting <laughs> on a Red Friday. I don't know what that means, dude. I yeah, I want the term. Like, know. what is the the definition of splitting in this situation? Yeah. Like, did he have to go to the hospital? We have meatspin.com. I think we know what our. Next I'm picturing one is. like a Looney Tunes cartoonist just fucking like. Oh God, bro! <laughs> it's like an Acme Studios yeah, fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then they sew it back together and it just... Oh, <laughs> fuck. Me, me. Hey, stop. <laughs> it's like Roadrunner's running through it. It splits. Roadrunner goes through, closes back up. Oh! oh. <laughs> and then the Ki Wiley Coyote just slams into it. Bro. You know how you can feel it sometimes <laughs> when you talk about something like that? Yeah. So what does it feel like? Tell us. How, oh, what do you, you experience? I it think he's still like? bricked up from Michelle, so we <laughs> no, wouldn't know. I, no. I also want to mention that uh, a media commentator in uh, Australia, Shock Jock, 
said that Richardson's explanation was a load of poppycock or whatever, however mm. they would say that. So he thinks it's bullshit. Yeah, a lot of people think it's bullshit British. that it was an accident. Yeah, it was British. I don't know how to do Australian. Oi. 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 Load, load of... I'm not going to try. You call Fucking. that a knife? This is a knife. There you go. Now say that. But I've seen you play knifey spoony before. Say a load of copycock in that voice. <laughs> what? Poppy. A load of poppycock. Poppycock. <laughs> so load of poppycock. Cocky pop. Crikey. <laughs> Again? Crikey. Keep going. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's You're splitting. <laughs> You're split. Wait, does that Ew, mean that dog. Uber Eats is on the way? <laughs> Ew, dog. Where's the Uber Eats at? Right. Why did they say it like that? So he went for a feed, bro. That's how Australians talk. So, so dramatic, feed. yeah. So I dramatic. think it know, makes it kind of sound dirty. Yes, unpopular yeah. opinion. You know how everyone like fucking moves to Australia. Mm -hmm. I don't have any desire to go there. That's like me with England. See, I would love to go to like I'm my why my, my family's from why England. why it's dark and depressing. It's shitty weather, shitty food. Yeah, I'm from Ottawa. fucking mad expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have but good food, dickhead, shawarma, and fun stuff. They don't have any of that shit there. They have like only Indian food. I'm talking about England. Has yeah, that's food. what I'm saying. No, yeah. they don't. They have worse food. They have, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we fucking, agree. He's stupid. We're arguing. We with agree. Each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have fucking beans, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I hate beans, dog. No, but Aust bro, Especially Australians are just. I don't want to. You fucking... guys are eating like the Nazis are still coming. That's how you guys. Bro, eat. I'm scared <laughs> of the animals. It's not the food. Yeah, I don't care about the food. You're not hunting it. The last yeah. burger you ate, did you kill the fucking cow? Yeah. <laughs> no, so you're talking about spiders and shit. I'm talking about the crazy spiders and like oh, reptiles. Oh, like, yeah. Why you wouldn't want to go to Australia? Snakes. And... That's why, bro. Like those fucking things scare me, and I naturally you don't like to live on the edge, bud. You don't. Like I do, thrill. but I don't want to. Wait, live don't koalas have a split penis? That's just chlamydia. Don't koalas have a split penis? I swear to God. You know what? We keep talking about it. What we wonder this snakes feels do. like. Let's snakes do. Snakes, snakes have, have cocks? They have two dicks, yeah. Oh, yeah. It splits. It's like a fork, like, right? Wait, like, does it like eject out of itself or how does it work? <laughs> I need to see the shot of your hand. You were like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's shaking. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wait. Wait. That's a penis snake. It's not a snake penis. All right. Let's. Uh. Snake dick is Look at the pink just one. so everyone knows what is being googled right now. It's verbatim snake dick. <laughs> it's Probably a movie. The okay, it enough is. enough talking about what a split dick must feel like. Let's find out. We ordered a pack of these dick pills. <laughs> you know I those red bulls you drank? It's hitting soon. I would love that. that we spiked them, boys. The sealed cans of red bull. <laughs> <laughs> we would, got you, would you say anything if you were just? <laughs> Because <laughs> all of a sudden you were just like, yo, I feel really weird, bro. Bro, I would say something if my dick started splitting for sure. <laughs> just for trying sure. to play it off cool, bro. Yeah, just like, <laughs> oh. oh That's why I don't get how this guy went through a drive through Like, if I have such a. Bro, I'm fucking not eating hamburgers. If I yeah, the story says he started to panic, and then the next line is, so he went to Burger King. Yeah. Wait, it's he started tough. to panic, and then what? And went then he to... went to Burger King. I don't what understand. What was he panicking the... about? Because his, his, his dick splitting. What was he panicking about? His dick splitting, whatever that means. That's what I'm so concerned about, is if my dick is splitting, I'm not getting a fry and a milkshake. And the two ninety nine well, nuggets like, now available horn... at Burger King. Here's the thing, though. Does your horniness go away? When you're on a dick pill, like you're hard for hours, days. If you're I don't know. Pit super. I don't know. Let's are ask you Jonah. the entire time or are you just hard? Let's ask know? Jonah. How do you uh, tell us? I don't know. How do you think your order would go if you were doing it while horny? While horny or while horny at with a, a split a dick? Horny with a split dick. We'll we'll keep it, you know, apples to apples. I think I get a whopper. Yeah. Why? Just no. Keep that juicy meat coming off the screen just staring at it meat spin hey 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 put your mic up to the grill when you sizzle it i want to hear it oh, oh! <laughs> that was a little too uncomfortable Ew. for me that was a little too uncomfortable 
<laughs> the milkshake is just to cool down the split dick. I'm just, just really, immediately like a flashlight. I'm really mm. stuck on the fact that it's a three day supply and it's a one single dose. Dude, yeah, you don't need to be hard for that that much time. Bro, okay. it's 12 doses is a six week supply. You're just hard for six weeks straight. That's insane. Coleman, can you click on the next photo that's the label on the back of it? This is what I don't understand. Okay, natural formula, not a chance. Says, heighten the pleasure of intercourse, improves confidence, more intense explosive sexual experiences, <laughs> enhances desires and arousal, better satisfaction. And then it says, usage and effects. Take one pit bull soup, sorry, take one pit bull super capsule one hour before sex to help energy, libido, and sexual performance. Pitbull Super can also be used on a regular basis to maintain optimal condition of readiness before sex. For best results, take Pitbull Super one hour apart from taking other supplements or medication. And then afterwards, in the next paragraph, it says caution. It, <laughs> no, says, I'm it, says, it says do not use more than one capsule every 60 hours after just saying take it daily. I like how it's it like says this, don't use every 60 hours, but take it daily. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. FDA. <laughs> it's not FDA approved. Not a chance. Yo, but most of these things you can just buy at like Walmart and shit. And it's a combined 62,000 milligrams of 12 different substances. Like vitamin C, ginger, maca. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, so Guarana. So the Australian government figured out that they're hiding. This is not an extensive list. So the, the, it's marketed sure. as 100%. There's no way it's only 12, items, 12 things in it. It's marketed as 100% natural, which is not true. The Australian government, after this story went viral, the Australian government stepped in and they did tests on this, these, this product and others and found that they <laughs> contain the active ingredient in Viagra as well as the active ingredient in other like performance enhancing. So um, they just took what's, what's all the of the dick ingredient? pills and combined them together. Basically. It's called sildenafil. It's basically what Viagra is. So it has sildenafil. They took Cialis and Viagra, mashed it up, and put it together and called it Pit Pulls Super. They found out the <laughs> fucking secret seven herbs and spices. Don't like, like as well as, as, well as Tadalafil and Vardenafil, which both combat erectile dysfunction. Um, yeah. So it's basically one of those like scammy supplements. It's, the gas station fucking. Yeah, it's gas station. The, it's very loose restrictions in the States when yeah. it comes to food and all that kind of shit. So they can get away with it. So they could sell it in the States. It's illegal, but like it's not. Yeah, it's illegal in Australia, um, but it's basically just illegal to market something that doesn't have it. Like the, you're not telling people what's in it. Exactly. You have um, to list all the ingredients. Yeah, right? but yeah. because it's sort of operating in this like natural supplement world, there's virtually no regulations and no like cross border regulations. Very difficult to. Do you want to order check. some? I was about to say, should we order some and vlog it? <laughs> just three day vlog of, a of three dudes in three one day room vlog. getting split dick. <laughs> Feeling it yet? Three day <laughs> vlog. Three guys, three split Yo, erections. We play roulette, bro. Yo. We do one I'm pill. Down. Oh, two tic -tacs. my God. 50 on red, Friday. <laughs> Yo. That'd be insane, bro. Yeah, I'm not down to do it, but I would like to watch if you guys. I'd like do to watch it. It's a good else jackass. Do it. Like, yeah. 100% oh. it is. Yeah, just put one of them in a group of pills and one person's fucked. Yeah, or you just placebo effect and they're all three fake pills. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, yo, my dick is so hard. It's because when it doesn't happen to someone else, it, you start thinking it's you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Am I hard right True. now? You know? True. <laughs> you know? That's crazy. That could be pretty funny. All right, order them. That's a good bit. All right. Put, put it, it on the bill. <laughs> it's a write-off. It's a write-off. <laughs> yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's a, that's a big tax write-off. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just love how it's marketed as lasts for days. Who needs that? Super, you wanted to super last for days. orgy of goers. Uh, you wouldn't want to have sex for three consecutive days. No, who's doing no, that? That's that too much. Terrible. That's too much. <laughs> that's what I, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Who's doing that? I feel bad for the poor woman that has to get fucked I mean, for three I mean, days. It's multiple women, I think, in this context. Oh yeah. But even then, the, he he was like done with his business. Uh, yeah. He and okay. Then, so there's not enough details in this situation. Tell me about the orgy. All right, I'm hearing too much yeah. about the split dick. I want to hear about the orgy. There we have it here. Well, Maybe it was an injury. The split dick was an injury at the super Yeah, split orgy. dick just something like a thing we just don't. Is it like an Australian slang for just stank Maybe. dick or something? Know you, know? Oh, you know sometimes when you, when you pull out and then try to go back in and it like bends a little? Mm. Might be like that. That's snap dick. Snap dick, yeah. yeah. Ooh, fuck. 
Yeah, I read somewhere that he basically had like a friend's hotel room and they were just like banging it out. <laughs> were they <laughs> all on Pitbull Super? I don't know. I would imagine not. No. But yeah, they know. got the also, 12 week sorry, supply. Just, they all split. <laughs> this is completely off topic, but I, I just like ran into this line from the news story. David Richardson, a farrier from Humpty Doo, pleaded guilty. Humpty Doo. Cock, poppy this cock and Humpty Doo. This guy's from Humpty Doo. That can't be a real place. I right, see a fake story. Away. I just realized we've been spewing fake news. Uh, yeah. I thought this was real up until that quote. Humpty Doo. It's There's a real no place in Australia. <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me. Number re- Humpty Doo, Australia. What's the fucking population? <laughs> 4,000, they say? <laughs> yeah, 4,000. Bro, there was more people at the fucking PWHL game today. It's from, it's from, it's from uh, yeah, Uncertain Origin, the name. It's starting to hit, isn't it? Bro, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> What's happening right it's now? It's happening. <laughs> I start turning green. You He's drank just the... like, I'm so hard. <laughs> I'm so raging horny right now. Where's Michelle? Split dick just is slang for like split personality. You just turn yeah. to a different person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not the God. same when you're horny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, have a whopper. <laughs> yeah. Have a whopper. I wouldn't be able to. Yeah, eat yeah. Like this that. is reason number fucking four hundred and thirty-two why I don't want to go to Australia because they have names like Humpty Doo as the names. Like <laughs> you sound like you're. There's from a town Humpty called Doo. Dildo in Canada. There is in Newfoundland, right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of crazy. I don't know why. I knew that. What came from first, there? the dildo or the town? The egg. Hatched both. Um. Dildo came first. Which one? The town or the product? Object, product. Yeah. When did the name dildo originate as like the sex toy? Why dildo too? I don't know. Why any word? Why is it called seven? We answer these questions and more next week. On, Down on the Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, did you say on Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> <Yeah>. That's jokes. <laughs> we, um, will John return to Down to the Wire <laughs> podcast? <laughs> Will Jonah come back and say the N-word again with a hard R? <laughs> Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, like, what's when was the starting... Or, like, for sure, they've been using dildos forever. But when did it start to become the name of a dildo? Like, when did it start getting called a dildo? You got something there, fact guy? Come on. Looking at the etymology section on Wikipedia... Says it's long considered unclear, but the third edition of the Oxford English Dictionary concluded in 2018 that the word originates in nonsense syllables common in early modern popular ballads, not dissimilar to the still familiar nursery rhyme phrase, hey diddle diddle, which came to be used as a coy euphemism for dildos. The phrase dill duel, referring to a man's penis, <laughs> appears oh, in the 17th century that. folk ballad, The Maid's Complaint for a Want of Dill Duel. Got a bad case of split dill Yo, duel. What? My Dude. dill duel is throbbing right now. Dill duel is like sword fight. So basically, it's a We're having oh! a dill duel. It's a nonsensical yes! word. They just yeah. Dildo. Other yes. theories that have previously yes. circulated included the word dildo originally dill referred duel. to the phallus-shaped peg used to lock an oar into position on, in a, on, on a dory. On. Okay, I'm I'm over dildo. <laughs> dill duel, bro. Dill duel. That's the new word for so- sword fight? Sword fight. Crossing swords. <laughs> crossing yeah, he's dude, just stalking. Yeah, that is Rocco fucking genius. Rocco and I just had a dill duel in there. That is awesome, dude. Just a dill I know duel. what we're doing later. Fucking girl fashion dill, dill, dill duel. duel, baby. I like that. Can Michelle join our dill duel? Ah, she hasn't called back. I love that word, though. I think. Oh, we, that's Jonah's favorite word. I think we ended on a dill duel. Dill duel? Yeah. Down. That's how we end it. All right. Wait, like the podcast or like? Before I leave, type shit. Like the podcast. Okay. Yeah. 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 Down. Just cuts to us. Dill duel. <laughs> dill duel. <laughs> Therefore, down to the wire means the very last possible moment or to the very end. The very end.